Well, after the weekend off, the trial over the in-custody death of Javier Ambler continued today. Two former Williamson County Sheriff's deputies are charged in his death. And this all happened while reality TV cameras rolled. Ambler led police on a 20-minute chase before crashing. James Johnson and Zach Camden then tried to arrest him. They're accused of acting recklessly by using a taser on him, despite Ambler warning officers of his heart condition. KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez has been watching this trial for us. And today, Mercedes jurors heard about Ambler's autopsy. That's right. Travis County Chief Medical Examiner the stand explaining photos from Ambler's autopsy. Now, doctors performed the autopsy the night Ambler died. It found that his heart was twice the size of a healthy one. It had damaged chambers and ventricles. The report also noted patches of ulcer-like tissue damage on the skin due to poor circulation. Pinker testified Ambler's 400-pound frame played a role. Naming the manner of death homicide, the autopsy listed causes of death, health problems, and forcible restraint from the deputies. The defense asked Pinker which played the biggest role. Increases in heart rate and exacerbate high blood pressure and things like that that would exacerbate his underlying cardiac condition and make them worse. So essentially in that moment, those things were simply too much for his heart to tolerate. The jury also heard from APD officer Michael Nissen, who arrived as the deputies tried to arrest Ambler. He said officers acted reasonably, emphasizing they couldn't see if Ambler had anything in his hands. Now, Nissen is also facing a civil lawsuit from Ambler's family, accusing him and the city of Austin of civil rights violations.